right, good day everybody from Northeast Ontario here. Mike here from Northeastern Dirt and Property Maintenance. And uh, it is a damp, cool, fall style day out here. And you can look out behind me and you can see some of the birch are already starting to change. It's actually some of the leaves are coming off too on some of these trees slowly. It's slowly changing. You can feel it today. Fall is in the air. But what we're working on today in the shop is uh, something that I found very handy. And I only found out about these mats, these floor mats from uh, Neil from Messick's. I watch Messick's videos. And if you're into Kubota and uh, you really want to watch some good videos from a dealership, Messick's down in Pennsylvania, they got some really good videos. And uh, Neil's an excellent salesman and he explains everything thoroughly. And he really knows his Kubota stuff. But anyway, when Kubota launched his 2002 uh, L series, the uh, 3302 and the 3902 new for 2022, they actually come now with floor mats on the L series, the newer L series. And on my L2501 right here, they never, they never ever had floor mats available for the L2501 for the L series. This is a 2015. And they never had the rubber floor mats available or nothing. This was just a basically L. I call it L for low, but really it's just a basic economy tractor. Straight goods, no bells, no whistles on these L series. They're just an economy tractor and they work good. So they never had the availability to have floor mats on these. They never came and they weren't available. But now for 2022, Kubota now has for their L series floor mats available for the newer ones, the 3302 and the 3902. So, and guess what? With these new mats being available, they're the same floor pan on these 2022s as your old L2501. So these new floor mats now, I ordered a set these are for a 2022 3302 or 3902, which is your basic L series. Well, now they make them available for this new L series. Well, guess what? They fit your old floor pans and your older L models. And I wouldn't have known that until uh, the Messix video came out and he went through and he compared parts that match the new L series with parts that match the old L series. And lo and behold, he come up with these nice Kubota. And I always, I would like to have floor mats because uh, it's just, if you any of you guys that own Kubotas, you know how the paint wears off those Kubotas on your floor pans, on your steps getting on. Anywhere where there's high footprint on your tractor and whether it's from your knees rubbing on the inner, on a fender or whether it's from your, uh, boots on your floor pan your steps you know that Kubota paint comes off within a couple hundred hours you're down to pure metal so anyway I like to have uh, floor mats so I ordered a set of these and they're not cheap Canadian mind you actually these these factory Kubota right here mats with the little snap through tabs for your floor pan these end up averaging about a hundred dollars a mat Canadian taxes in which is just ridiculous, but I don't buy too many Kubota accessories. I only buy what I really have to have, and uh, which isn't too much. But these uh, floor pans came up, so I ordered them. So let's have a little look. So any of you guys got the L-Series, like I've got, and uh, these floor mats on one side, they just basically lay in there. Maybe get in here a little bit better. They basically just lay in and they got these push through tabs right here. These little rubber push through uh, tabs that go right through your floor pan. They just push them through and then they snap through. And uh, this is the easy side. The other side you gotta do some whoop, disassembly. So if you look, all they really do is these tabs is they push through I don't know how hard they're going to be to get in there oh yeah they snap 
snap in tight. I guess you gotta grab them from underneath, as I'm doing. And you gotta pull them. I can tell you, when Kubota makes something, they wanna make it. Okay, I just grabbed them with these linesman's pliers and I pulled them through. And some are definitely not as easy to get at as others. That one's almost impossible to get down. All right, so some of that access holes on this floor pan underneath to put those rubber tabs through were impossible to get through. So what I just did was I grabbed the steel punch, flat punch, like this, and there's one back here. And uh, you can't get underneath and you cannot get access to those holes due to uh, reinforcement rails underneath and uh, everything else in the way. So what I did was I lined up the rubber tab through the hole in the floor pan and if you push on it, you won't get it. So what you gotta do is kinda find the location, what I just did anyway, and kinda push it through. And there you go. All of them are snapped, all of them are snapped in place now. So the, like I say, the hard ones to get at, get a punch like this or anything and put it on the rubber mat and then just tap the rubber tip right through the floor pan and next thing you know they're all locked in. So there you go, you got it. Now, if you look at these uh, rubber mats, why would you want to put rubber mats on there? Well, as I said earlier, it prevents the wear of that paint getting wore away on your floor pan and uh, it makes it much less slippery and it doesn't make it look like a uh, thousand hour machine with all the paint wore off. It just aesthetically looks much more pleasing to the eye. And through, let's face it, any vibration through the tractor, what's there, which isn't a ton on these Kubotas. But anyway, it insulates your feet and your knees because you've got this soft rubber compound on your feet while you're running the machine. It's just much more ergonomically better for your legs and better for your feet. So there's just various reasons why that the uh, floor mats are good. All right, so we'll continue on and we'll go to the other side. All right, so the first thing you gotta do here, you'll see down in here, you gotta take out these right here, which are your uh, high stat pedal stops. That's all they are, 12 millimeter. One here on the forward and one here back here on the reverse. They have to come out. And then the two bolts for your actual treadle pedal for your high stat, it has to come out. So you take those four out. And those uh, high stat stops, they basically got a jam nut on them right there that you leave in the same spot that comes right from the factory. The jam nuts for your set height for your treadle pedal for forward. And the back one's just uh, also gonna be the same. And you don't need to adjust this at all. Just leave this jam nut right in place where it is. And uh, that's it. So you take them uh, stops out and the other two bolts, you got four bolts, bolts in total. And then you do the same thing as the other side. And as you can see right there, your stop jam nuts are right there. So just leave them alone. All right, so now you got your high stat pedal off of there. Pretty basic stuff, four bolts. All right. And you can see that factor mat's already slotted to go underneath your treadle pedal. And they just drop in. 
So now go through and all these rubber tips right here, you guys can see them. They have to line up with every floor pan hole. So you can see there's four just on this side and you just line them up in your holes, get them lined up first. And then you have to stretch them and pull them through and or use a punch, but uh, pulling them through, pulling them through from the bottom, if you can get access works fine. You can just hear them snapping, you can feel them. Whoop, not on that one, not a good idea. Look, I just pulled on that one with linesman's pliers. I pulled the rubber right off of there, the little tip. So guess what? This one's going through. With a punch. Okay, we're looking good there. That one had four, five, six. I think we're done there. And you'll see if you miss one because it'll be... Okay. So you gotta stretch that mat a little bit. You have to kind of stretch that, and pull that mat a little bit to get these stop bolts back in. That's the only thing I see. You can see your stop holes here and here for your treadle pedal stops. They're just slightly, just slightly off center. See, so you have a look, they're just slightly off center of the hole. I'm not sure why. Obviously, obviously a bit, bit different. Okay. That one's up a little bit. But... So that's looking pretty good there. Now we just got to finish putting the pedal back on. So there we have it. We got our Kubota rubber tractor mats in there for the new 2022 series tractors but like I said they fit the old style floor pans of the L2501 and your older L01 series. All the new L02 uh, floor mats fit your L01 series so there you go. Pretty good and uh, I think it'll be nice for your feet, nice for your paint. It'll also be a little bit quieter and uh, that's perfect. So thanks you guys for tuning in. And I just threw these uh, floor mats on there and uh, we'll try them out. Thanks for tuning in.